Jesus. Dude, it feels. Feel it. You could have done two coyote swaps in the time it took you to do this. Actually, Probably four. Actually four. <laughs> Probably really? Four. Actually four. That's actually cancer. Should be ready to come back. Oh, oh Lovely. Yeah, soft serve. Yeah. It's your chalky shake right there. Oh, let me go get a cup. I want some. It's delicious. You're, right. you're the guy who likes to drink oil, so. Uh, or to taste it. I think I'm okay on this one. Still think it's interesting that it's literally just like a small block Chevy V8 with two cylinders lopped off. Mm -hmm. Chevy's like, well, I mean, the V8s do good, but like, what if we just ruined everything good about a Chevy motor? <laughs> What's up? It, it's out. It's out? Jesus. Dude, it feels. Feel it. Feel it. Oh my God, it is like soft. Feel so it. Jesus. Oh, it's got body. I know it. you just want. Please, for the just stick your finger, just a finger in it. Oh, that's weird. It didn't even fully get on your finger. Like no, it but literally I... bounced off because it's so viscous. Yeah. It has... I'm gonna video this. Yeah, we got a that video. is a that's fake a meme. Talk there. That's a meme. Like, like just stick your finger in it. Just a yeah, finger. Just your finger. Just a fingertip. My milkshake spring all the boys. Oh, dude. Get another car. Get another car. Go, go turn the hose. I'm just, just out of curiosity. Well, I'd put the bucket underneath that. You ever just you stick a garden hose listen. inside your engine? Listen. It's so clogged up, it's not even... That's what I was about to say. So the water is literally probably just stacking on top of that. Because it, it's not even coming out. Yeah, it is. It's... it. He's pouring water in the he's, pour, he's literally filling it with water. And... It. Yeah, but there's no water coming out yet. So it's yeah. probably... It's so all the. Down below it, and then the water below, above it. It's got to build. Some pressure to it's it. got to build. You know what's about to happen though? It's gonna be funny. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna yeah. blow Let's out. <laughs> water's gonna shoot everywhere in a second, okay. so it doesn't splash on the bike. Timing, dude. That was hilarious. Dang, look at our new fountain. I gotta wash my hands again. <laughs> <laughs> wash, wash your hands in the end. Yeah. Yeah, boy. It's clean. That's. Relatively interesting. Would you drink it? No. I know you would, so you don't have to prove it. God damn it. Oh, okay. That looks disgusting. It is disgusting. You know what my hypothesis here is? It's gonna overflow this bucket now. Oh, that would be hilarious. <laughs> no, I was gonna say, I bet you it's gonna uh, stop dripping water and then it's gonna start dripping the <laughs> It very well might. That's, I was hoping it would just flush it out so it would stop. There's a possibility. You never know. Just put the. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> just put the drain plug back in it. No, we're. I just, <laughs> I'm just. Oh, 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 oh it, shit, that looks. It, it literally just can't make up its mind. I have no clue why this is so fascinating. If you want to know what a year plus probably of a blown head gasket looks like, here you go. And how much water you add into it. You water oh, okay. Ooh, ooh. What? It's here. What is. What's it? What do you mean, what is it? I don't know what it is. You don't? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of stuff. That's a big box. Well, I guess now we know how big a cam is for a Viper. Shut up. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> Job security. Yeah, what is that? I got it. Thank you. Read What's the box. The what the hell is that? Oh, oh boy! Oh my god. Hey, uh -uh. Check out my new valve covers. Yeah. 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 First off, before we get this box opened up, I want to say a huge thank you to Lethal Performance. If you guys want to go check them out, you can use code It's Just Six Checkout on their website, which will be linked down below, by the way. Belts! Wow, we got belts! Wait, wait, wait. Hey, oh, be wait, careful. Oh, wait, no, <laughs> grab the fork. Careful, don't grab the fork. <laughs> grab the, the Charger head unit, like Yeet. throw it through the wall. Yeet! We'll just start right. Wow. Oh my god! Oh, oh the bomb! What? Oh my the, god. Well, oh, here's where the block melts to. Oh, babe. Look at this. Ooh. That's a thick ass boy. Oh. 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 oh, you got a black oh. one? I got a black one. Damn. Does it blow? You know, the, the bigger one. Does it blow? The, the, no, the old one he used to have, if you turn it by hand, it would blow air. Yeah. Because it was so big. 
It moves. Yep. You can feel it. Wait, I need the quality. It pushes checklist. some air out. Hang on, li listen to this noise. Listen, oh, yeah. Let me oh, listen. It's because it's me, dry. Let me look at the wheel. Oh, yeah. Hole. That's well, awesome. I guess that's like the Surprise. easiest way. Yeah, I didn't even know it was coming in today at all. Had no clue. You're expecting it next week. They Go told ahead. me that they were planning on shipping it out on Monday. That's what Lethal said. Well, it's been four days, five days? No, Monday. Oh, this coming Today's Monday. Friday, like three days from now. Oh. What do you guys think it's this here is for? Today. Dude, that's bigger than... Oh, yeah. oh let's, Is this let's for insane. a Viper or for a... A race truck? Or for a truck? That thing's What's bigger it? than my whole engine. Did they send a methanol kit That with? sure looks like a meth kit, but it did not need to come with one. Uh, why not? not? It might not be a meth kit. It might be a relocation. For wind something. wash relocation bag? There yeah. yeah. <laughs> don't show the... Don't show the... Don't show the. What the hell is a wind wash relocation bag? Oh, it's windshield a windshield. Wow. Okay. I didn't know. I couldn't think wow. of wind wash. Words are hard. Today, Doug becomes a dog. Today's <laughs> been an interesting day. Nick got an MP5 Pro Charge. Buddy, it ain't even one o'clock yet, too. <laughs> Damn it, you're right. We got We're lot. just getting Look. started. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this farmer's tan. Look oh, at this wait. man's tan line. Leave lines, me dude. alone, oh, dude. Oh, oh, do we still sell this merch? Yes. 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 Yeah. We do. Yeah, I didn't even know if we had Every ten dollars spent on this just a six will get you one entry into one of the Every one of these shirts that may or may not have a Daniel. pro charger on it. So we are pro charging the Camaro. That has been something no that I've way. wanted to do. Really? <laughs> that has been something that I've wanted to do actually since the first time that I ever had the car. And it's funny because me and Doug back in 2015 probably were sitting at Kane's one night whenever I owned that car. And me and him were both talking. And Doug's sitting here talking about hey, he wanted to go single turbo on his car. And I'm sitting here and I was like, oh dude, I want to go pro charger on my car. Well, funny enough, years later I sell the car. I don't have it. I end up getting it back. Doug ends up coming up here and we work together now. So he's got that car that he does have a single turbo kit for, which is crazy enough. And now finally the pro charger is here. So it's just like, feel how stiff that is. Yeah. So it's Good just like, God. years and years later, this is uh, something that is actually coming to life on the exact same car that I had in 2015. So this is a D1X Pro Charger. Uh, this Pro Charger here is good for quite a bit of power, actually. And um, whenever you guys remember, if I picked up, whenever I went and picked up the Camaro again back in October, as I was picking it up, the guy told me that it had a new cam in it because whenever I sold it to him, the timing chain, I believe, broke and ended up messing up a lot in the engine. So he had to replace the entire cam. He had to replace quite a bit of stuff in there. And after replacing it all, he replaced it with a boost cam because he intended on supercharging it in the future, but he never did. So I kept that in the back of my mind. And uh, this has been like a really long-term goal for me. And finally, we have pulled it off. So something that we wanted to do too, we wanted to race the Camaro and the Viper before we put the Pro Charger on. Look at this fat thing. Because Holy crap. That is That's a wild. thick boy. Before we, I don't want to spoil anything, but the Viper is also getting some also getting fast. And I hope you guys are ready for that because obviously this is our next giveaway car. So if you guys want to go get in it and win it, it's just six.com. But uh, somebody is going to get their hands on a very crazy car after we get done with it. And so anyways, back to what I was saying, we're going to race the Viper and the Camaro before the Pro Charger because in a few weeks, we will have the Viper finished up also with its new setup. It's so hard not being able to say what we're doing. God dang it. And uh, we're so, swapping it with the V6. Yep, they, that's it. We're that keeping the power plant. Yeah, that plant. one that we took out of the Jimmy, that's yep, going in there. That's correct. We're going to we're going to cyclone swap it. The Jimmy is getting a turbo on the front of it. What we're thinking this is my this is what's going on. Oh, it does have stickers. Yeah. <laughs> it's so hard to talk whenever you're near Doug. What I wanted to do is race the Camaro and the Viper now as they both sit. The Viper in my opinion, I think is definitely going to beat the Camaro. After that, the Camaro is going to be pro-charged. The Camaro is definitely going to beat the Viper, but we've got one more mod coming for the Viper that is going to absolutely blow that car's horsepower out of the water, honestly, and I'm excited for it. And I think that after the mods on the Viper are done and the Camaro are done, they're going to be a really close race. So we kind of wanted to make a whole entire series following along with these two cars in particular. Uh, our pro-charger intercooler here is pretty nice. I've never even seen one of these before. I've never gotten to see a Pro Charger kit. He's purdy. Yep, look at that. So yeah, there you go. You can kind of see. That is a super. Look at that. Yeah, that's where the map goes. In the inner cooler. Mm -hmm. Really? I like how this is rigged for our uh, pleasure security. And that. Oh, you went there. No, I didn't. <laughs> I'm genuinely surprised Doug didn't say it. No, that actually is very smart. So they put a ribbed outlet on there. That way, for whenever you're cranking up big boost, it won't make any, uh, any big pop in. Oh, this is a big box. That's your main head unit bracket. 
Oh, okay, so yeah, the brackets in here. We got all black powder coated stuff. As you know, the Camaro's color scheme is black and orange. Everything on that car is black. So whenever we were looking at getting this kit spec'd out, they had the silver option, obviously, but I feel like the polish is so overdone on Pro Chargers. It, everybody's got a polished Pro Charger. This, though, is absolutely cool because it is matte black. It's gonna be the painted valve covers, the painted intake manifold, everything else, and then the black Pro Charger under there. And I think it's gonna be really, really nice. And as you guys know also, uh, Lethal previously had sent us over some axles for the car that is the one thing on that car that is going to absolutely have problems is going to be the diff and axles uh, we've got some dss 800 horsepower axles that we're going to be putting in the camaro and i really 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 think that it's going to be a solid car and rob is so excited <laughs> as you know it's got ported intake manifold it's got a little bit of head porting done cam kit it's already got valve springs it's got everything we're going to keep it stock motor obviously so we're not going to be able to throw a crazy amount of power at it but we're aiming for at the end of this hopefully to be around 650 at the wheel oh, which is yeah, which is a lot of a lot of power i'm really excited it's a good, and good street power i can't even believe i didn't know that they were sending the d1x i really thought that it was just going to be the d1 unless the d1 and the d1x are the same but i don't think no, they are the d1x i believe is the race version of it right i think it's a billet wheel too so yeah i'm not sure yeah, i'm not too familiar with pro charge the, so. the x series are billet wheeled and uh i'm not sure oh wow yeah. See if you can even get I that. Think, I think there's also some differences in, in the internal gears. That's wow. cool. So they got a whole billet wheel inside of there. I don't know. There is so much, honestly, to talk about right now. I, 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 I want to just tell you everything, but I just can't. I can't. We've got stuff coming for the truck. We've got stuff coming for the Camaro. We've got stuff coming for the Viper. And at the end of it, all three of those vehicles, in my opinion, are going to be really, really good head-to-head -head competitors for each other. By the way, guys, with Corona and everything going on, we kind of got behind on it. We're going to be trying to pick up on it now that everything's going back to normal. If you guys want to join up to uh, be a channel member, you can go click the join button on the channel. And you'll get to see a lot of behind the scenes content that we post and kind of a lot of the things that we're going to do. I like to post on there so that you can pretty much see what we're doing ahead of time. It's kind of a spoiler, but uh, at least I, I use that to be able to judge interest for what you guys want to see. And I ask people pretty much what, like actually crazy enough, whenever we went and got the Viper for the giveaway car, the reason why we chose the Viper is because we had posted it into our live stream that we had for our tier three members and the uh, tier three members for the channel memberships all they pretty much picked the viper so we went and picked it up the next day they knew the day that we went and picked up the giveaway car months ago they knew they knew everything so kudos to those guys for keeping it all a secret for me uh and if you want to go join the channel memberships like i said you can go click that join button on the channel I'm trying to think if there's anything else to talk about i want to go through and unbox it more and show you guys every piece and component but we want to keep it saved the reason why is because each baggy pro charger really really did the smart thing here and they labeled every single thing for what it is the part number so i don't want to take it out of the original boxes obviously because we don't want to lose track of that that was awful yeah i'm upside down bro give me a break i'm trying to take a nap that should do it right yeah. hold up oh wait you just push the rear tires yeah it's not gonna like slide out huh? oh motor mounts out Oh yeah, the other one fell off. Right back. Too. Hold on. Hold All right. on. All right. All right. Slow. As far back as we can get it, even if it overhangs a little bit. Oh my god. Let me explain how today has gone so far. So we were supposed to go to a private track rental today that I last minute, actually as of last night, found out about and squeezed my way in. I got three spots. We we're gonna take the black car, the Camaro, and we were gonna take the truck. And then we found out that the black car still, we're having some problems with the tunes still, not sure why. The throttle body's also goofing still. I'm sure Daniel could probably put a lot of clips of every time that I go between shifts and the wrench light pops up. <laughs> Essentially what we had the idea of is just taking the truck and the Camaro. Well then as we get to the Camaro and uh, the truck ready to go, the truck's already loaded up, strapped, everything. And Doug was like, how are you gonna roll the windows up? <laughs> and I forgot that uh, we had already pulled out the pretty much the entire body wiring harness. So we have no yeah, that was from before, power. So. Yeah, we don't have any power windows or locks or anything. And so we're gonna, well Doug's already pulled off the door panel here. and we're gonna. Uh, you're gonna have to go one positive and one negative here. We're gonna do a jumper. All right, try it. Up. Oh, hey. Wow. Good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah. I literally pulled up this whole wiring little thing, and Doug was like, "Nah, I don't need this." Get you a Doug. Thank you so much. I yeah, still gotta get the other door. I know. Also, we're worried because this track is supposed to be incredibly prepped tonight, and. Oh, 
Yeah, it's supposed to be like really, really good prep, which is why I'm upset the black car can't come, but whatever, we'll get that thing dialed out with a new. I already actually ordered a new throttle body today, so we're gonna hopefully get rid of all those problems. It's just I didn't know that this track event was happening, so we weren't prepared. Normally, I would have already had the throttle body in, already had the tune fixed, already had this, that, and everything done. The truck still has a office chair in it for Christ's sake so we really weren't prepared for this but what we're worried about is the Camaro here is still on the stock axles and the stock rear diff it's probably gonna break on the prep so we're uh, taking the trailer and if it does we'll load it up in the trailer and take it home but the goal tonight is to just get one just one pass in on the Camaro before we pro charge it we've got upgraded axles in there so if they break which is expected we've got axles sitting there on deck so we're gonna take it out try to get a time pre pro charger install and once we do the pro charger install then uh, we'll take it back out again oh yeah and by the way we're doing the same thing with the truck so we're actually right now hopefully going out to get a benchmark pass with Doug's tune on the truck as an NA truck and then after that we're gonna hook this thing up to nitrous on a fairly large shot of nitrous and take it back and see what it does after nitrous so today is just gonna be for setting benchmarks and getting prepared for the next stages of these two vehicles here so it's just such a mess yeah we're supposed to be we're supposed to leave an hour ago and we're oh, yeah. taking the truck part Take tweeter installs. Yeah, whoever did that was quality, bro. Flawless. <laughs> hey, this is the old, you can see where the six, the last yeah. time it was at the track, the, the finger paint. Oh, the six? Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, dude. Hell yeah, bro. Oh, sick. Oh, oh, sick, bro. dude. Fing mint. Hey, look, and you just lost some weight, so this truck should run like nine. Get in. You can go on to Mexico or something. I don't know. A whole lot of LS going on. How excited are you? I'm pretty excited. I love this car. Yeah. It's a good car. It's a really good car. What's <laughs> I have not been out here in a long time. It's so weird because coronavirus has like nobody here. Well, how was your experience driving the Camaro? Oh, yeah. I mean, every time I drive that, it's like just intense, pure Shangri-La. Like literally heaven on earth, can't stop enjoying myself. Let's see if this cranky thing will oh, start up. Oh. Hey Rob, do you like LSs? Jesus drives a Camaro or one of these. Still needs a little work. She's got to warm up. Yeah, she's got to warm up a little bit, but a Doug tune will do good today. <laughs> I guess we're going to run the Camaro first. This is actually funny enough. In two times that I've owned this car, carburetor guys be like, two times of me owning this car. Anyways, in two times of me owning this car, in years and years of me owning this car, I have never not one time taken this thing down the drag strip because we never had the money to upgrade anything in the rear end and that's typically what falls out first in these cars and I broke it without even being on the track multiple times. So today is gonna probably not go too well. <laughs> hey, look, look, this one has about half the oil pressure it's supposed to. It's yeah. Stock diff. So it's yeah. like, we changed the oil and there's metal all in the oil. What weight are you using? We're using 50 weight oil and we got 22 pounds of oil pressure at idle. <laughs> so it's like, probably not gonna make it, but we're gonna throw nitrous at it next week anyways, so. No, it's, it's a junkyard LS, it's fine, don't worry about yeah, it. Yeah, definitely. I really just came out here to have fun, set some benchmark passes. If something breaks, if everything breaks, if nothing breaks, I don't care. We're out here to have fun, so. Let's make the first pass the Camaro Thank ever you. ever Whoo, man it has been a long time since I have made a pass down the drag strip I am super pumped unfortunately because of the coronavirus we can only have a very very limited amount of people here so Andrew is not even technically supposed to be filming but we're gonna try it anyways <laughs> This thing is about to be so slow if it doesn't break. We're gonna try and launch it easy.
dang, this thing is so slow. <laughs> I have not gotten to make a pass in so long. <laughs> so there you go, guys. The first pass ever in the Camaro went pretty well. I don't know what this thing is even going to run. I've got no earthly idea, in fact. It hooked pretty good, so that's pretty nice. Thank you. Holy crap, this thing is slow. <laughs> Barely rolling into it. 113 is what it's trapping. The other car is trapping about 150 miles an hour, and this car traps 113. <laughs> Not bad, though. Still pretty fun. Okay. Ah! It's hot. It's real hot. Well, what'd it do? Well, I've actually, it launched pretty good. Yeah, that's what we were saying. It was, was pretty good. It's easy though. This car is easy as sh to drive. You literally, it just slips the clutch and it's perfect. But uh, I didn't want to launch it hard. So it went two, two stock so axles and, st yeah. and street tires. I was just trying to ease into it. It didn't slip at all though. So that was nice. It sounded like there was some wheel hop. It, it yeah, slipped second, a little when it, it got a little bit of yeah. wheel hop in a second. But uh, it went 12 eight. <laughs> So, yeah. hey. I see this as an absolute win. Yeah, I was laughing because I was like, dude, this thing mile per hour in the quarter, 113. <laughs> <laughs> the other car is like one foot, almost 150 every yeah. pass. This is 113. Well, hey. God. Don't ever change the wheel setup. Like, you gotta stay with Poverty Stars because, like, it's a good meme. No, but, no, stop. But welds. <laughs> Yes, I know that's maximum truckyando shit. Truckyando. But, <laughs> but listen, what if you stuck with these and then ran like an eight on these? Imagine how mad everyone would be. It would be f***ing awesome. Everyone would be like, why, why didn't you put expensive wheels on? We probably should have at least tightened down the steering wheel. <laughs> well, I didn't think about it. Just like I didn't think about it either. The windows up or fixing the headliner or anything. So, all right, let's do this. <laughs> you thought. It. Yeah. Hear that? That's American horsepower. Yeah. All right. You want to shut the door real quick? I guess. Hi. Let's go do this thing. It's so dark in here. It is. I forgot dark the whole here. windshield and everything was tinted. And it stalled it. How are you going to stall an automatic? All right. It's already toasty in here. <laughs> yeah, it is. All right. That's how you know it's fast. I mean, you gotta open the doors. <laughs> it's gonna be like the slowest thing here. <laughs> All right. First off, this is about to be the first pass that we've made in this truck with the Holly EFI setup. I want to say huge, huge, huge thanks to Holly EFI. We finally got this thing back together and running on the Holly setup. This is the first pass with it. I don't know what it's even gonna run. It's in a. We stripped a lot of stuff out of it, so. Maybe it'll do good, maybe it won't. Who knows? I'm gonna get suited up, sir. Good luck. Thank you. I'm about to be so sweaty. I'm about yeah, to be so are. sweaty. Boy. Can't roll the windows down either. We've got no body harness in here anymore. This thing is ready to go fast. Just not yet. I'm gonna go ahead and open up this door. So we can get some airflow in here. Doug couldn't be here, unfortunately, because they're only allowing a select group of people. And uh, Doug was like, well, if y'all aren't gonna go out there and do anything crazy anyways, I'll just hang back. And he's actually going to somebody's birthday party tonight. Anyways, it is kind of sad because he's not gonna be able to be here to see the truck's first little run. If it does good today, the plans were, as you guys remember a long time ago, whenever Holly had sent us over that nitrous kit, we're gonna get it put in. This truck has had a lot of preparation going into it. It doesn't look like it because it looks really ratchet right now, but... <laughs> I can't believe there's an office chair in here still. They're having some issues down the track or something. So. So I could probably kill it? Maybe, I don't know. Uh, all the way down. So have to a few minutes to up. All right, somebody oiled down the truck. Well, harness is coming off. Here we go. Guess we're just gonna wait. One hour later. Can't see a damn thing in here. It's so dark. Here we go. It's probably gonna die a lot. Oh, God. Please stay running, truck. Why are you acting goofy now?
was nice. This thing is definitely, definitely, it's probably so hard to see in here. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> I don't even know if y'all can see a damn thing. I am so sorry. But anyways, we didn't even expect it to be nighttime whenever we did this. Just believe me whenever I say literally nothing goes right. I think I've just gotten comfortable with understanding that nothing is going to go right. So it's whatever. Anyways, guys, that was a pretty good pass. I don't know how fast it was, but it wasn't bad. Not really wanting to stay running for some reason now. I don't know why now. We already went and tested it out on the street and got it set up and ready. <laughs> and it was working great. But uh, it's acting funky now for some reason. Part of it, I guess, getting it dialed in. Uh, I can't even see. What do we run? We hold it out the door. 13.4. Holy sh**. This thing is really not doing too hot for some reason. I don't know if it's attributed to the fact that we've got only a very small amount of oil pressure or what, but I know one thing's for sure, that nitrous is sure gonna wake it up. <laughs> Hopefully we'll be able to get to the nitrous this week. I have a feeling though that we're probably not gonna be able to come back to the come back to the track with it on nitrous because I, I don't think this stock motor is gonna last too long on nitrous. <laughs> this thing's slow not bad for NA though. Yeah, it's pretty slow. What was it? Oh, it was slow. Slow, 13, slow, 14. slow. I mean, you I almost like... cracked a one, a, a starting with a 160 foot, oh, so that's already. And, and okay, now crazy enough, you remember we kept on having the problems with the converter before? I shipped the converter off. They looked at it, they said everything looks good. I had the trans ran through, said trans looks good. We got a trans cooler with bigger AN lines because maybe we were thinking it was maybe a flow issue. No problem there. Got Holly EFI put on here because they were thinking maybe it was the stock ECU that was creating the problem. It's still doing it. So like, at least we got a pass in, a single pass. This was the first pass, like I said, since we did the Holly EFI. So aside from numbers, because who cares really at the, at the point it's at, it's an NA truck. But uh, I really wanted to get a pass down just to make sure that everything was good and kind of feel out what issues we're still looking at. Definitely still, it looks like possibly having some kind of uh, conversion issue i'm thinking if not converter issue probably tuned so i don't know we'll figure it out i guess let's go see what this thing will do again i don't really know how many passes that i'm going to make in this car because i'm not really chasing crazy times anyways i was just trying to get a baseline coronavirus makes everything suck <laughs> it's already dude we got here at what time six it's already almost 9 30. anyways this might be unfortunately the last pass i don't know gonna go fast no you say no 12 6. 12-6? Alright. He said 12-6. 12-6, huh? Yeah. Oh, this? Yeah. yeah. I see it. 12 3. <laughs> Camaro versus Camaro. That one's the one though, so I'm probably about to get swacked. Crazy enough, this is one of the only cars that has acted completely right for me. Even though it's got really weak rear end parts, the clutch, I mean, it's easy to launch, it's easy to slip. Everything about this car is really super easy. It's one of the only ones that really works with me. The trans, <laughs> it doesn't lock me out at all. I don't know if I have ever in the time of me owning this car, I don't know if I've ever missed a gear in this thing. tr 6060s are just supreme transmissions compared to the Mustangs. But, I mean, oh well. At the end of the day, like I told you guys, the reason why we were coming out here in the first place was just to get baseline numbers of what this thing is gonna run before pro charging it. So we got a time slip from the truck too, pre-nitrous. So I really do like this little car, man. It's been real good to me. That's why I think I'm so excited to finally, finally, finally have the help uh, from guys like Lethal Performance, which by the way, thank you guys so much again, but uh, it's just their help is the only reason why I'm able to do everything that I've been wanting to do on this car. It's pretty cool, I'm excited. Street tires and earth thing. Let's do it. Wow, the clutch just stuck to the floor. 
<laughs> I just burnt the shit out of the clutch. I tried to slip it and it stuck to the floor. That car is stopped right there. He's broke too. <laughs> Nobody's having good luck. Cool. That clutch smells so bad. <laughs> That's bad news. That looks like we're about to blow through that clutch like crazy once we put the Pro Charger on. I'm assuming what happened is, is we probably glazed it over because this is the first time that this thing has done a dig ever. I was wondering what was going on. I had no clutch feel and uh, I went to go shift in a second and literally, I, I don't know if you could hear, I thought I was spinning because the rev limiter was just sitting there banging the rev limiter. Wah, 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 and I was like, okay, second. So, oh wait, let me turn the lights on so y'all can see. Is that better? Maybe? Anyways, I had it in gear, took off, slipped it and whatever. It actually slipped real good. I thought I was about to have a real good launch because we were, ah, uh, and now that I think about it, the reason why I bet you it did is because I tried to launch a little bit harder. That was the first time that I tried to get more aggressive with it. I launched it like 4,000 RPM, I believe. 3,000, 3,500, something like that. Clutch stuck to the floor. Went to go shift in a second. The clutch was at the floor. <laughs> That's why, without even pushing the clutch in, I was able, you probably couldn't see it, but I was able to push in a second. Thank you. Oh, man, it smells so bad like clutch. 2060 foot. Yeah. Oh, man, this thing smells like that clutch may have just took a dump. That was pretty interesting. I'm <laughs> so thoroughly aggravated. It's almost becoming a meme of how bad everything goes for me whenever I try to do anything, literally anything. It's like the normal human could be trying to do something and they would probably succeed at it. But now I don't know what happens, but I just don't have good luck doing anything. Karma, I must've done something just like super ultra horrible in my past life and karma's just coming to get me. It's funny cause everybody that actually knows me in real life jokes around, well not everybody, but a lot of people joke around about how in my past life I must've been Hitler or something because like, geez man. It's, yeah, we, we probably should let it sit before we leave. But no, seriously, like it was the weirdest thing because had it at 4,000 and slipped it. I was like, woo, it's slipping good. It was slipping great. And then it blew through and it was hitting the rev limiter. I'm like, did I just break? When you got I thought it broke the rear diff. And so I went to go shift in a second and the clutch is at the floor and I was like, that's what happened to my car. Yeah. And I was like, what? <laughs> and so I went to go shift in a second. And it was just like free. And I was just like, when you got dude, to that second no. light pole, there was smoke pouring out. That night that I had to have Daniel like coast me home. And then we went and ate at Cane's that I absolutely melted my clutch. That's what happened. I tried to launch it to have an RPM and it got stuck to the floor. And I was like, I had to reach under there with my foot and pull it up. That's what, yeah, that's what I just now had to do. It's I've so never had that happen before. Hey, it was it was about to pull a decent 60 foot though. At 4,000, that's where it's gonna like it once we get the Pro Charger and clutch and everything. It's gonna like it at 4,000, but... Doug literally just texted. He was like, hey bro, how's track day going? <laughs> I was like, well, one car burnt the clutch up and the truck's not stalling up right. And he was just like, oh, y'all headed back? <laughs> <laughs> hey, yep, all right, job uh, security, bro. Hey, Holmes. Hey, dude. You got some spare horsepower? Nah, unfortunately, <laughs> I ain't got spare. <laughs>